Okay, so right now we're just going to be continuing with this series on decadence. And what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at the loop feature within decadence. And I'm going to just once again drag this track A. And what I want you to take a look at right here is this red line right here. This is indicating where our loop settings are at. And we can change the length of this down here. And we have some numbers here that kind of help us determine where we're at. So this is a 32nd, we got a quarter, half, and that's a single bar, an entire bar right here. Okay, one to one, one half, one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, and we can go down to the 32nd if we want to. All right, so what's this all about? If I'm playing back, and I'm gonna set this to quarter right now, I can play this back, and I'm gonna hit A to rewind, and I can press Q to play. I'm going to turn this down so I can talk over this actually. And now what I can do here is if I want this to loop over a segment like this, I can press loop and it loops. Okay, notice how it's looping over that section. And once I let go, it continues again. All right, and I can change the length of this to, here's a 16th. All right, we can go, here's a half. And I can latch this, okay, by right clicking. All right, you, you, if you right click, it'll just stay on loop. And that's the basic gist of it, pretty easy. Now, one thing you have to be aware of right here, if I have it clicked looking like this, what this means is it's going to give me the ability to loop anywhere I want to, but it's not going to snap to the beats. If I unclick this, I can press this, but it's going to start looping and snap to the beat. All right, so let me try to explain this the best I can here, try to give you an example. because It's a little hard to hear, but if I press play here, all right, right now, if I press loop, All right, it is snapping to the beats. So when you see that looping, you're gonna see it looping like right on the beat marks here. And that is very helpful. You don't have to worry about being too precise. It gives you a little bit of freedom, it snaps, but there are times when you might want to not snap exactly on the beats. You might wanna snap like in between the beats. Well, you wouldn't be snapping. You might just want to line up the loop in between beats. And if that's the case, then you can turn it off and then you can loop anywhere you want to from there. So let me see if I can give you an example. All right, so I went and looped from there. And notice where it's looping. I know it's kind of moving a little fast there, but well, you know what? I'm going to do this. All right. Good example. Okay, so right here, and I'm going to actually adjust my length right here so you can see. All right, now notice where loop point one is at. It's in between two beats. Now, if I were to turn that off and hit loop, you wouldn't see that happening. Every time I press, you would see it lining up right on the beat. And I think typically that's where you'd want the setting to be at. All right, so I really tried to do my best there to explain that. Hopefully you got what I'm talking about there. But one thing I want to mention here with this is that you do have shortcuts that are really useful when it comes to working with loops. So I'm going to press A here. And the three important shortcut keys you want to remember are O, P, and L. O is going to take a look up here. O is going to change the length of the loop. And then L is going to enable you to turn loop off and on. And this can be really helpful to do things a little more quickly. So we can play. I can hit loop here. I can adjust the length and unloop it. Okay, I can extend this out. Loop it here. I can adjust the length while it's playing. All right by using just the O and P and L. Press L again, and it'll move on. All right, got something real small here. 
Okay, so some neat shortcuts there for the loop points to help you do things a little more quickly. Another thing I want to talk about is this color coding here in the WAV file. Now let's say I wanted to turn this down to here and I wanted to loop on the crash. The crash is color coded blue. So I can press play here and if I wanted to loop on the crash I can watch for that and as soon as it comes up I can press L and I'm looping on the crash. So this color coding is real helpful to help you determine there's a crash again, where you might want to start your loop. All right, here's a crash. Okay, so just to give you a tip about this color coding here and how it can help you determine where to time your loops. Real nice feature here. And if you don't want that feature, and I don't see why you'd want to turn it off, but if you control C, you can turn it off and on here too. But it is really nice with this color coding, okay, to do determine where your loop points are going to go and that sort of thing. 